you happy with your morning choice? So, Callie likes to just hold it really intensely with her ears back. Yep. And then Blaze goes for all the limbs when he's not supposed to and the heart squeaky. As long as my dogs are having a good morning. How are you doing, folks? I know that's a question that I got asked. And I'm actually the happiest I've ever been. I'm uniquely in a time of what most people would be, I think, considered stressful, but I'm not. Because I know everything happens for a reason. Oh my god. Did you see that bat? Every day that I sit here, specifically at sunrise, it seriously trips me out not knowing two years ago when my relationship came to an end for us. What would I be doing? And then here we are now. So I'm excited to see what's next. I really do not start my day unless I work out. This is me just going on a tangent while I'm stretching, but the property is very reminiscent of me as a human, me evolving and how I've dealt with things. For instance, I figured why not learn on the exterior of the property, make as many mistakes as possible before coming into the main project itself. And that plays into me as a person because I did the same thing when I came to the desert. I dealt with everything but me. Like I definitely have used alcohol, and I have used partying and it really does all kind of align with one another and I'm really grateful for that. The truth is I love my house. I love the inside of it. I know that people are like, oh, I can't wait for you to renovate the house. I can't wait for you to renovate. But every single time I have somebody over, literally everybody always says, wow, this just feels like such a home already. And every time someone says that to me, it makes me just want to leave the house as is because I feel the same way. Like there has been so much life and family and love in this house and you can just feel it. Then I get nervous that when I renovate it, I don't know that it's going to lose all of that, that feeling. But I know that everything has a time, place, a chapter, season, reason, or lifetime, or what have you, whatever that saying is. And I have to stop being scared that if I renovate this, it's not gonna be a home. Like, it is a home. I'm making it more of a home. I'm making it my home. A couple of weeks ago, we turned that bar into a pottery throw room, so we're gonna be wrapping that up this episode. I actually sanded down the doors that were original and I'll be staining it to kind of warm it up to match the wood that is around it. Previously, the ceiling had some bamboo on it, which just made it look really cheap, honestly. So I opted to just paint it a rusted gate by Bear to bring that terracotta color up from the floor in the pots up to the ceiling to balance the space. I 
I decided to make the most of the space underneath the window by DIYing a drying rack that is designated for all of the throws. So nobody has to try to figure out a place to put it on the styled racks that's behind on the mirrored wall. It's just like, there you go, put it right here underneath this window. I have so many trunks left over on my property from the previous owner and they are actually stunning when you get down into them. So this is my first time just power sanding and angle grinding down a stool to see how smooth I can get it to potentially turn it into a piece of furniture. So at first it kind of looks like drips are gonna be different shades, but you gotta remember it's all gonna soak the same. So that's why we took so much time to sand it down because I want this silky baby.
For the window, obviously you can buy brand new, you can replace by thrifting something old. I personally went to Pasadena Architectural Salvage because they just have such an incredible selection of antique and vintage finds from different estates. I highly recommend that you guys check that place out if you're local over there. I'm leaving it. I hate it and I'm over it. I'm done. Attempting to transplant sunflowers and there's a baby sunflower. All right, well. Happy Monday, folks. I wanted to bring you into the life that is around the DIY. I'm really getting sick of my tutorial-based channel, although I will never stop doing DIYs. Um, I'm more than that. So instead of doing like certain life vlogs than this, I'm trying to blend the two. And that is what you are witnessing now. I have absolutely not one clue what I am doing here, but I am very, very excited. I definitely didn't think I would be spinning pottery in my property, you know? So that just goes to show you how much your interest can change. This used to be a bar, and here we are now. I literally made nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, it all failed. So we're gonna attempt this tomorrow. isn't the biggest example as to why I didn't do the house first. <laughs> Clearly we have a lot to revisit in the trailer next week when we fix it and do the flooring and get this show on the road to move in in January 1st. But you guys want a trailer progress update and this is it. It's kind of gone a little bit backwards and that is expected to be honest. I didn't think any of this was going to be perfect. I definitely didn't think I'd get a big leak in the middle. Honestly, I really thought I'd have this trailer done by summer, but if I'm going to be 110% honest, I don't want to admit it, but I was the woman that got wrapped up into a relationship. I just hate admitting that. I got swept away and avoided my career even longer than what I've avoided it before when I was finding myself. There's really no other excuse. So this leads me to the next question that you guys had was like, are you best in or out of a relationship? And quite frankly, now 
uh, that have done some work post this breakup. The only way I can put it is I think you become better at relationships, not in a relationship, the more comfortable and secure and loving you are to yourself. So this past breakup, although it was one of the most incredible short love stories that I've had in my lifetime, to be honest, it taught me the most about myself and how I needed to accept love and how I wanted to deal with confrontation healthy and how I want to use communication in a relationship, what I do like, what I don't like. And I think with my long-term relationship, it was so in my 20s and I was so wrapped up in who I was because of him or like finding my reputation within him because I didn't have any self-love that that breakup was so hard for me but now that this breakup happened I realized now I know who I am I know how I love and this just isn't my person and that's okay however I do have to say I would like to be in a relationship with a partner and I said it before that fulfills me and that brings my extraordinary life into their extraordinary life and we co-create something even more extraordinary I don't know if I'm best in or out of a relationship right now, I know that I am the best version of me that is open to a relationship. But we're gonna be switching it up on here. You're gonna be learning a lot more than just the DIY because again, that's been driving me crazy too, friends, trust me. It's the elephant in the room. Why haven't you renovated your house? What's going on with your channel? Like, what are you even doing? I know now. I know now, I didn't before, so this is the property, this is the progress, this is where we're at, and that's my pottery, which is actually really exciting, so I'm not making eye contact with the camera because I'm super vulnerable and awkward because I feel like I've done this before and I just feel like such an imposter coming back and saying it once again, but all I ask you is to truly have some faith in your girl and to just watch it all happen. I mean, you see me slowly come back these last couple weeks. I don't want to say I'm back because, I, again, I've said that before but I'm back. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me know how you are feeling about videos like this. This is obviously a new format and we're testing it out, but we're just gonna be on this ride together. I also am not sure why I'm chewing my food so aggressively, but whatever. Next week, I will be giving you that property tour update that you guys have been requesting, and we're gonna be fixing all of the mistakes in the trailer that you just saw, which are more common than you actually think, and you may need them. So I will see you soon for another DIY.